Okay, so the, the this knob here obviously fell off when I showed that on the last video. It's easy to come off, so you might want to put something to make it stay on there. Like I said, this is not in perfect condition, and it's being sold as is. It'll probably need some tech work on it, and if you, and that's all going to be at your own cost, which is why it's being sold at such a low price. It has some body damage on it. I just now hooked a guitar up to the external input, and if you turn up the signal, and then you turn up the envelope follower, and then you turn down, now see, look, I'm going to turn up the VCA, and that causes an, whatever last note was played will drone, unless you turn that down. So now the only thing that should make noise is this guitar, which I've turned up. So you got an envelope follower already. And this thing does produce a little bit of noise, but it does have an envelope follower built into it along with the rest of the synthesizer. Let's see if you turn it up to high. Overloads the signal. Unfortunately, the overload light does not go on. It's overloading, but it's not going on. The light's not going on. You can also adjust these settings. This is obviously not, I'm not showing off any playing ability here, okay? So you can get some pretty radical.
Okay, so back to regular synthesizer. You know, turn that down, unplug that, and uh, concentrate on the keyboard. <clears throat> like I said, there's some problems. You have to have this mixer up. This is really a good studio device as it is, but it really, if someone was to, to actually fix it, and it would take some knowledge and it would take some ability. Switch doesn't seem to be working great. That's not right. Not a full octave there. Transpose switch is kind of messed up. These things seem to be working okay. Just only this filter. Only oscillator. I'd say it's about 75% working, so. And it's a fragile electronic item, sold as is.